Hey guys, this is Annalisa from Electronics. Um, we have Michael here filming. And um, we just have a few updates for you guys um, about some of our new materials and designs that we've been working on. Um, so this is the Maker Notebook, um, which some of you added to your kits. Um, it's basically just a blank slate um, for you to draw in. Um, it's made up of glossy photo paper that works pretty well with our ink. Um, uh, this is an example of one of the magnetic sheets um, that we use to attach the magnetic components. So you can see that those just snap right onto it. Uh, it's pretty strong. It can even hold up the battery. So the way that you use that is you just slip it right under the paper that you're working on. And um, this is a simple circuit that we drew just to show off a couple of the new components that we're working with. Um, so for example, here we go. Um, this is a photo sensor. An LED. And a battery adapter. So when we have it hooked up in that orientation, the light actually activates the LED. And the way we set up the circuit is you can operate it in another mode where the light is on and then when you illuminate the sensor, the LED turns off. And uh, we designed these LEDs to be bi-directional, so if you swap the polarity, the color changes. So we also designed uh, new protection circuitry such as this little power adapter. So with the current 9 volt battery, if you short it on a metal sheet, for instance, or your refrigerator or something else, it'll just short the battery out, which is not good. So our new versions, which we'll ship with all orders, are uh, these little batteries that have lights on them. And they have a little switch so you can turn them on and off so you're not shorting something by accident. Um, and they also have a fuse, a resettable fuse, called a PTC positive temperature coefficient resistor. So with these, um, if you were to short a trace while you are drawing, um, it'll actually tell you and prevent current draw. So we have a multimeter here, and you can see that it's drawing uh, three milliamps right now with the two little LEDs that are on. And Annalisa is going to short uh, two of the traces together. All right, so let's just say that we drew a line here by mistake when we were designing our circuit you're going to see the current spike, potentially. And as the ink dries, it's going to keep increasing until uh, it shorts. Let's see if it ever gets there. 100 milliamps and increasing. So a typical short in the battery is going to be on the order of uh, one amp or above if you draw a direct trace. So in this case, it looks like there may be enough resistance between the two lines to prevent that shorting. So let's look at a case where we, uh, we actually drop the uh, new component on, say, a steel sheet. Okay. So we're going to pick it up. And on the back, let's take a look at this component. On the back here, you can see there's two magnets um, that are a little spring-loaded, and they're encased in an injection-molded uh, foot so they can't come loose, and they're more child-safe that way. So if we were to drop this on the steel sheet we have back here, you're going to see that the current spiked and the red light on the component turns on, which tells you it's shorting. So it gives you some visual indicator that, uh, that it's not working. So if we were to take it off and put it down again, the light will go away. Oops. So, and then drop, you see it went to around 700 milliamps and then the red light is on. So, yeah. So we have our USB component over here, um, which uh, will get you power from your computer, so you can have something always, uh, always powered. And this has a similar circuitry set up for it as well. So uh, the red light is not on this particular one, but it will be. Um, when you drop it, it didn't short, and there's four, four feet. So that's our, that's our quick update. Uh, we're working on production of the pens, the components. The final components will be white. We're working on the final designs and such of them. And uh, thanks for backing us. Thanks.